They're accused of stealing cars, trailers, even animals, and it spanned multiple counties, and now authorities are looking for the last suspect. The case now in the hands of Chief Agent Jerry Flowers with the Department of Agriculture. Jerry walks us through what they believe the crooks have done so far. These goats and sheep survived. This little one did not after they were taken from Langston University. The outlaws broke into that and they took that truck and they backed it up to a uh, uh, one of the pens that had 38 goats and, uh, and two sheep. But according to Special Agent Jerry Flowers, this wasn't their only crime. Apparently, they stole a trailer with three horses in Logan County. They were spotted in Pot County. The Sheriff's Department in Pot County. Uh, Potawatomi deputies had jumped two outlaws out of a truck uh, pulling a stolen stock trailer. That's when they found the goats. On that stock trailer, uh, it was uh, there were three horses and my 40 goats. One suspect was caught. He uh, uh, willingly cooperated with us, uh, confessing to he and, he and his accomplice did steal these goats. Even showing authorities some of the items they had taken. It took me and my agents, sheriff's office from Pot County and Lincoln County uh, to uh, to an area there in Pottawatomie County, we recovered the stolen truck that belonged to uh, Langston University. Their crime spanning several counties. This sheriff posting about a victim of these men in his county on Facebook. As their investigation continues, Cody Porter is the accused accomplice they desperately want to get off the streets. Cody Porter right now is on the lam. He's running. Uh, we don't know for sure where he is at. And we can tell you several sheriff's offices like Lincoln, Logan, Potawatomi, and Haskell counties are working with the Department of Agriculture on this case. Okay.